Okay, so the 15 point getting started training. This is how you want to get your Jeunesse business started the right way. All right, so this is the most important training that you'll do and how you duplicate your team, and it's what we call network marketing gravity. Okay, if you don't complete all these basic starting steps, you will fail in network marketing. You will fail in Jeunesse. No matter how creative or skillful you get outside of this, it's like not having the basis of a foundation of a new building that's going up. The building's just going to fall over no matter how tall it gets. If you jump off the roof of a building and you think you're not going to hit the ground because you're someone special, unfortunately, you know, the word on the street is you're going to hit the ground because of gravity. And so if you can't get these 15 points down, packed, master them, become an expert at them and duplicate that in your team, you're not going to fail no matter what else you've got going on. Really important training. So, you know, the basis of this is all my experience in network marketing, all of Lyndon's experience, his upline, uh, my previous company and all our uplines there. So we worked out to around about 180 years of network marketing experience from all the different people we've grabbed these from uh, through the decades of network marketing of what will always work combined with the new age of network marketing as well. And in a recent survey and a recent interview that we heard with a person that's been involved in the industry for 30 years is the number one income earner in the industry. And he was asked, what's the number one thing we as leaders should do in our business to make rock star income quickly and duplicate that all over the world? And his answer was, keep it simple. Pretty amazing, isn't it? In the age of websites and SEO and pay-per-click and webinars and social media and all these amazing things, the answer in 2015 to a massive global network marketing business, keep it simple. And that's why I always only teach this getting started to my guys. And look, once people get to Sapphire and they have experience in other marketing strategies, you can start to talk about some online marketing and, and different strategies, newspaper art, uh, marketing, etc. But in the beginning, if you really want to duplicate and have the everyday average person succeed in this industry, you want to keep it simple. You want to show them the things that have always worked in this industry, but don't rule out the new age of network marketing. You combine this all together. So it's always been a relationship business, a like business, a trust business, a people business. It will always be that. But now we can show people trust, likability, relationships, through social media. They can search through our Facebook page, they can look at us on YouTube and look at us on LinkedIn and find out what kind of person we are. By the time we do call them up, they're ready to join. So we can new age the network marketing industry through the same principles that have always worked. So the purpose of the Getting Started training is to teach basic, proven, simple principles that anyone can follow. To give you a structure, a plan, and a system you can follow and duplicate easily and efficiently time and time again. It also helps you evaluate and assess if you have what it takes. So if you're looking at some of these steps tonight and you go, I just can't do that, I can't commit to that, that's just not me, then perhaps this is not for you. You see, most people fail to reach even Sapphire and above because although they have good intentions, they either have no plan or they don't stick to the plan that we've created, the system we've created for them, and they try to overcomplicate things. They try and come up with their own trainings. They try and convince people to join. They try and save people from quitting. They try and raise the dead, and they're not concentrating on bringing new people into the business. They're not concentrating on the people that want to build the business. Okay, so you want to run with the runners and walk with the walkers, but never sleep with the sleepers. Okay, match energy with energy and work with those people that want it. Your job is not to motivate anyone, convince anyone, sell to anyone. Provide the information, teach them, do the getting started training, and then match the energy with the energy. Okay, this will make it near impossible to reach your aspirations if you don't do this. All right, so message has sunk in. Let's get started. Okay, so what I do is I break these 15 steps down into a 48-hour assignment for the person. 
and then the remaining steps, the remaining eight steps over the next 30 days. Okay, so the 48 hour assignment, I enroll someone today. Okay, Wednesday, 8.30 p.m. I say, John, okay, it's Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Are you available Friday, 8.30 p.m. to go over your 48 hour assignment? He says, yes, I've, my, my time is free at 8.30 on Friday, fantastic. What I wanna do with you on Friday, here's your homework. I need you to understand what professional network marketers do. I need you to understand what it is that you're doing, okay? I need to know what your goals are. I need to know what time you can invest into this business, okay? I need you to write down a list of at least 100 people that you think would either be interested in this business or the product, okay? I wanna know who your accountability partner is. That can be your girlfriend, boyfriend, brother, sister, mother, father, husband, upline, okay, an accountability partner, very important. I want you to start to think about purchasing your business building tools. Pretty hard to build this business without your home office set up, okay, internet, phone plan, all the basic stuff to build a home-based business. And I want you to start thinking about and tell me at Friday at 8.30 when we speak again, what sort of launch you wanna do. Okay, do you wanna do a home party? Do you wanna get a room in a hotel? Do you wanna uh, do an online launch? Okay, I need to know those types of things. So Friday at 8.30, we would go over all of those seven points there. And then over the next 30 days, John, you're gonna become a product of the product, okay? We're gonna make sure you learn every aspect of your back office, okay, and the pay plan. We're gonna create your scripts and your story because the number one reason people will join you is because of your story. Okay, we're gonna learn how to handle objections because they will happen. You're gonna educate yourself on the industry, okay? Mindset, personal growth, otherwise you're, you're no chance of advancing and sticking with this business. We're gonna make sure you get to the first local event in your area in the first 30 days. I want you to provide great service just like any business and we're gonna work on you becoming a leader over the next 30 days. That is the 15 points getting started training. So let's have, have a look at point number one understanding what professional network marketers do. Okay, are we here to sell? Are we here to convince people to join? No. Okay, we are here to share information and share your story. And when they, when people understand this, it's a relief to them because 97% of people hate selling and 97% of people hate being sold to. But everyone wants to buy Jeunesse products. They just don't know it yet. So how do we get them to buy products if we're not selling to them? Okay, buying is selling. But it's it's in the essence, and, and you can argue the point all day long that we are in sales because people are buying, but sales in its purest form, if you look it up in the dictionary or go and visit a used car salesman or look at the salesman, um, Harvey Norman, or your local real estate agent, that's sales, that's hardcore closing. Okay, now if you try and do that in network marketing, you won't do very well. Network marketing is a long-term relationship business. So you need to show people that you care and you wanna solve a problem that they have. So maybe their problem is not enough time freedom, not enough time with their family, not enough cash flow. Maybe they're stressed out. Maybe their health is not good. Maybe they don't get to live life they want to do. Maybe they want to do a charity, but they don't have time because work's too full on. Whatever it is, you can show them how Jeunesse can provide that solution for them if you stick together and work together over the next three, four, five years. Okay, so we're showing them we're in for the long term. If they're not ready right now, that's okay. We'll talk, you know, in a few days, a few weeks, a few months time. So what you're here to do is you're here to share information. Say, hey, totally understand where you're coming from. Look, this is my story. Okay, this is where I was. Okay, this is where I wanted to be. This is what I found and this is where I'm going. So you need to start working on that story because the number one reason people will join you is for that story. So understand that you're a, an information broker, if you like, you are sharing information and that is it. The better that you get at sharing the information about Jeunesse, the more that people will say yes, all right? And you want, you want to ask for the business. You do want to do that, but understand we're not in sales, we're not here to convince anyone, and you'll do a lot better in network marketing. A lot more people will want to join once they know that, all right, and it takes the pressure off. So that's number one, understanding what exactly is what we do. Number two, your goals. 
Now, the reason that you want someone to set their goals properly is because it's pretty hard to succeed at anything unless you do this. The reason you want to know what their goals are is so you know how to work with them. So is there going to be something where you guys are talking five times a day, once a day, once a week, once a month? You know, it's a big difference between someone that wants to earn $500 a month and someone that wants to earn $5 million a year. Okay, you're going to have to work at a whole different tangent and you're going to scare some away if they just want to earn a million dollars a year and you're, you're talking about $500 a month, they're not going to be too motivated by your conversations. And the same aspect, if they just want to earn $500 a month and you're talking about millions of dollars a year, that's going to scare them away too. So it's good for you to know exactly what they want to get out of the business. It's good for them to do their goals because what they need to do is they need to start dreaming again. You know, as kids, we dreamt about being astronauts and, and everything. And, and as we get older, we start thinking of the so-called reality, which, you know, who wants reality really? Hey, we want to create our own reality, which is really the dreams that we had when we were kids. So start dreaming big again. Make sure they've got a crystal clear vision of what they want their ultimate life and their perfect day to look like. Make sure that they write them down and pin them up somewhere where they see them every day. Read them out loud as if you've already achieved them every single day and record yourself doing that. So if your goal was to earn $50,000 a month and be a diamond, okay, you'd write that up as your goal, but you don't read it out like that. So you don't read out, I would like to earn $50,000 per month, I would like to be a diamond. Your subconscious brain just picks up that you're not that and you will continue to not be that. So how you want to read it out loud so your subconscious picks it up is you want to say, I am a diamond, I am earning $50,000 a month, I love the lifestyle that I get with $50,000 a month in residual income, the diamond trips that I get with Janessa are amazing, life is good. So you're reading it out as if you've already achieved it. Record yourself doing that, play it back when you're doing a workout, when you're sleeping, when you're driving, okay, but in the beginning, just have small goals I've got to be an executive, I've got to be a jade, I've got to be a pearl, I've got to be a sapphire and have those stepping stones toward that. Make sure they're specific, make sure you've got a time frame of when you want to join that and talk to your upline about it at the 48 hour mark. Hey, is it possible for me to be a ruby by the end of 2015 if I put 20 hours a week in? Make sure the time you can put in and your goals match. Review them regularly. Create a vision board of how your life looks. Happy family, walks on the beach, Ferraris, charity work, whatever it is, only you know how you want your life to work. But the important thing is at the 48-hour mark when you're talking to them again, make sure you know what their goals are and make sure you get them to send you a picture of their goals written down and pinned up on the wall so you know they've done it. Again, don't just send them the getting started training. Work it through like a workshop. Get them to send you a photo of their goals pinned up so you know they've done it. And then we say, okay, great. What time can you invest into Jeunesse? And I want the person to literally, you know, over that next 48 hours to sit down and go, okay, here's my social life. Here's my family. Here's my job. Here's my work. This is what I can literally put into the business and set Jeunesse time. Something every single day. Be consistent with it. Okay, make sure that their goals income-wise match their time frame. So if they're saying, oh, look, I'd love to earn a million dollars a month by the end of the year, I can put in at least one hour a month. It's not quite going to work out as well. But I had a girl today say she'd love to be a sapphire by the end of the year and she can do it full time. And I said, you know what, I reckon with, with your skills and attitude and the time you're putting into it, I reckon you're cutting yourself short. I think we should aim higher, Sapphire Elite and above. So you want to try and match up that time frame with their goals. It's important to be structured and organized. So look at when the live events are on, when the webinars are on, when you've got to travel, when you've got your phone calls. You know, I had a girl book a, th a three-way phone calling with me today, but she forgot it was on, never turned up. So what does that say to the prospect, unprofessional? All right, it's not hard to put it in your phone and set an alarm, put it in your diary, put it in your day planner, set three alarms if you have to. Be professional. Treat it like a multi-million dollar business, not like a hobby. It'll return you exactly how you treat it. Plan ahead, get babysitters in for events, do whatever you need to do because your dreams are far too important to treat it like a hobby. You've got to believe that this can deliver 
what you want to get out of it. Okay, so use all those things to uh, get organized and to have time, uh, good time management. Okay, so it's a time commitment in sync with your goals. So the time invested and you write down what their time frame can be. Okay, now they've written down a list over the first 48 hours and now we're going through it at 8.30 on the Friday night. And what we want to be doing here is, you know, we've asked them to write down a list of 100 names. You know, the old, old school way type of thing. And it kind of is and it kind of isn't. I mean, without having a list of contacts, the best place to start is with your warm market. And if it's not written down, it's a bit like your goals. You might have contacts in your phone, Facebook, that's fine, but it's all not organized, it's not structured. Okay, it's like having goals that aren't written down. They're just uh, fairy tales, they're just dreams, they're just fantasy. So we want to write down 100 people and a lot of the guys will come back with 100, some might come back with 60 or 50 names. That's why we say go for 100 because if you say give me 50, they'll come back with 30. Okay, so you want to aim for 100. We want to identify the people that are red hot ready to go or the people that will be open-minded to it, the red and green apples. We want to stay away in the beginning from the rotten apples and they'll know who the rotten apples are. Maybe it's their sister who's cynical, skeptical, closed-minded, negative about everything. You give her a gold nugget and she'll tell you it's too heavy to carry home. You know the type of person. We stay away from them in the beginning. So we start with war market, go-getters, business owners, entrepreneurs, anyone that's in that go-getting range. Okay, so don't necessarily just go for friends and family in the beginning, but if they're entrepreneurial and open-minded, yes, we want to go and talk to them first because they're going to know you, they're going to listen to you, they're going to like you and trust you, and we have a great chance of them seeing what we saw in the Jeunesse business. But it, just because they're friends and family, if they're not open-minded, we won't talk to them. Okay, if there's people that owe you a favour, we want to talk to them. If there's people that always do whatever you do, let's talk to them. If there's people that are open-minded and entrepreneurial, let's talk to them first. So we start highlighting the people that we're going to speak to first, whether it be a webinar, or a live event, a three-way call, however we're going to speak to them. And that way, you've got such an amazing chance of them saying yes and joining up. Your person now has a positive experience in their first two, three, four, five, six, seven days. They've got an income. They see how it works. Now you've just got a much better chance of them doing something over the next six, 12 months and forever building a big business. It's very important to get them a positive experience in their first few days. Number five, accountability partner. Very rarely spoken about, okay, very rarely done, okay. We want to set and appoint an accountability partner. And as I said in the beginning, it could be upline, it could be your partner, it could be a downline, a friend, anybody. You know, research shows that you're 10 times more likely to succeed with someone to be accountable to. And Forbes magazine says accountability, whether you love that word or hate it, is invariably one of the active ingredients for personal and professional success. And I was talking to a, an upline of mine, Paul Kenny, um, over the last couple of days, and he was talking about he would never have got started or been successful in his first company had he not had an accountability partner who was a good mate of his in the business with him. And probably the same with me. You know, if I look at Craig and Lyndon and a few of the other guys, you know, I want to be accountable to them. If they're doing well, I want to do well. If they're doing a lot, I want to do a lot. You know, I don't want to let them down and they don't want to let me down. And then you've got some competition, some friendly competition there as well. So it just can't tell you how important have an accountability partner that says, I'm going to do 20 calls today, you do 20 calls, let's tee up at the end of the day, have a coffee or a beer and let's talk about our success or failure rate with that because when you have a bad day, it's great to be able to ring them and uh, tell them how crappy your day was but when you have a great victory, it's good to be able to call them up and celebrate as well and that will be one of the major factors of your longevity in the business. So think about who your accountability partner is. If you've been in the business for two or three years and you haven't really got one, grab one. If you haven't got someone you're really close to that works the business like you do, all your friends are outside of Jeunesse, just grab an upline that I say, hey, can you be my accountability partner? It'll work a treat for you. Grab your business building tool. So we might talk about printing up some business cards for them, very cheap, very quick, very easy. And again, research shows people will stay in the business three times longer 
if they have business cards, something so simple, but it just makes people feel important. It makes people feel like they're in business. They've got something to hand out. So if you know that research is true, it's important to uh, work on some business cards for your team. Okay, working on, you know, the J Social, the J Builder, all those types of business tools. And, and at the moment, J Builder has been replaced with an internal system that's going to be so amazing. So we want to make sure that people are enrolled with that over the next few weeks. Um, maybe a Jeunesse Starter Kit. Okay, now in the US, you have a Starter Kit which has a memory stick of every single article, brochure, video, everything you ever need to build the business is on this memory stick in terms of a wristband or a keychain. You have brochures and booklets on getting started, some amazing trainings. You even have serum samples in there. Now, we can buy that in Australia as well. Okay, it's a separate cost. You log in under shop. It uh, might be on the import card or something, but you can grab a starter kit. That's a great business building tool. Okay, and now if you don't have a phone, computer, internet, it's going to make it hard to build your business. But there's also lots of things like, you know, phone apps. If you think about building a global business and you want to call someone in the US right now, well, it's about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning some places. And I know that because I've got a world clock app on my phone. I make sure that I want to press that before I call people overseas okay you want to make sure you got Skype you want to make sure you got an international phone plan you might want Viber Tango all those different types of apps if you're looking at building a global business all around the world number seven and closing off the 48 hour assignment so I'm still on the phone with John it's 8 30 Friday we've done all the six steps okay now let's start thinking about your business launch okay we've got your list down packed are we going to contact them via a phone call, webinar? You've got to get a launch going, and we're going to start enrolling people, you know, straight away over the next few days. Okay, so plan what your business launch is. And what I say to my guys is, look, it really depends on your personality, your network's personality, and where you feel comfortable. So some people have contacts all over the world. No real point having a house party in local Melbourne. Okay, we might launch his business on a webinar. So we're going to create a webinar, private webinar specific for John. Okay, we're going to do a John's new business, you know, and send out the webinar link. John's going to hit the phones, call everyone he knows, send out the link, Facebook the link, email the link. We're going to get maybe 20 people on his first webinar. Okay, out of those 20, we've got seven that join. Okay, the next night, we're going to have another webinar with 50 people on there and we get another 20 that join. That's a great way to launch John's business all over the world. Okay, other people are more comfortable doing a face-to-face -face presentation in a hotel or a pub, you know, hire a room there and do a business presentation there and invite all their local friends. And then the girls, what works really well, and there's actually an article on this today in the Network Marketing News about how popular Party Plan is again and how it's just turning over tens of millions of dollars. It works fantastically well. Friendship, like-minded, face-to-face, no like trust. Our products are so marketable, especially with our mask, instantly ageless. You can show results right there at the party. Make it social, make it fun. Great way to launch your business. And if you think about any business that you owned, you don't just start the business, open the doors and hope people walk through the door. You put up an A-frame, you do a letterbox drop, you get all your friends around, you do a launch. If you open in a bakery, you give them free hot cross buns, you say, tell all your friends to come in. This is the best bakery in town. For people that don't do a launch, it's crazy because they, again, treating network marketing like some sort of different business. It's the same. It's a business. You want to launch it, okay, tell all your friends to come along, show them the product and... And, and tell them to tell all their friends and, that, and that's a, you've got to get a launch going okay so you've got to get good at inviting people to that uh, less is best just come and look at my new business let's catch up let's have a drink we haven't caught up for a while come and check out my new products my new business and then follow up follow up follow up so you've now planned your launch we've identified our top 10 15 20 people we're going to contact okay 
and away we go. We're off and racing, okay? And over the next 30 days, we're going to complete the rest. So you can go ahead and tick the box. You can give yourself a little tick, give yourself a pat on the back. You've completed the 48-hour assignment and the getting started points one through to seven. Okay, so we're going to now go through what happens in the next 30 days. I say, right, hey, John, you should get your product any day now. Okay, you can't become a product in the product in the first 48 hours generally. So we want to get you passionate about the products. We want you to try them because if you say to someone, hey, you got to try this brand new Zen, there's lots of, have you tried it? No, you know, I don't try it. So no one's going to do it if you don't do it. People only buy into the Jeunesse story and the products if you have fully as well. Okay, you can become a walking billboard with the products. Try the serum, try the instantly ages, the mask, night cream, all the products. People say you had Botox. Have you had a facelift? No, I'm just using this great natural product. I'll get me some of that. Okay, so you need to become that product of the product for so many different reasons. It adds to your story and it gives you that belief in order for you to go crazy and tell everyone about them. Pretty simple one, that one. Learn your back office and pay plan, okay? You can't get paid if you don't know how. So if your goal is to earn full-time income, fire your boss, 10 grand a month, let's say, then you need to get to Ruby in Jeunesse. If you don't know how to get to Ruby, if you don't know that you need two sapphires and you need to cycle 200 times in a couple of months, if you don't know what a cycle is, pretty hard to get to Ruby. It's like walking through a maze with the lights off trying to find the exit. You're never going to get there. So it's important to know the pay plan back to front. You need to know how to change someone from left to right. You need to know how to run your business. Okay, When you start teaching people this, when you know this, when you're talking to other leaders in the industry and other entrepreneurs and they ask you questions, about the pay plan and how it all works. If you know the answers off the top of your head, they're going to go, wow, John really knows his stuff. He's only been in the business for a month or two. He already knows everything about the pay plan, how to sign people. I'm going to join with this guy. You go, I was going to join with this other person, this other company, but this guy knows his stuff. Okay, so make sure you know all these automatic systems and how they work. And, and again, don't just say to someone, hey, step nine is to learn the pay plan. Right, oh, good stuff. You've done it. What I do with my guys is I set exams up for them, <laughs> whether they like it or not. And they go, oh, whoop, shit, that's uh, okay. And I say, right, John, next Friday at 4.30 p.m., we've got an exam on the pay plan. You're going to tell me what is a jade, what is a pearl, sapphire, ruby, emerald, diamond. I want you to tell me how to become a crown diamond. I want you to tell me the six ways to get paid. I want you to know I back the front. And what I find 99 times out of 100 is, they haven't really looked at the pay plan. They kind of know a little bit about it. But when you tell them we're going to do a test and an exam on Friday, it's amazing how much they can learn in a week. And they generally get 100% of it all right. So sit them down, do an exam, take them through these 15 steps. Don't just send it to them and say, there's getting started training. You've got to be an expert at every single one of these. Number 10, create your scripts and your story. Okay, we can send you out you know, dozens of scripts to talk to different avenues of people. So business people, network marketers, stay-at-home moms, entrepreneurs, any walks of life, salon owners, we've got a script that we can send you. Okay, now your story, break it down this. Do this tonight. This is a fun activity. So write down where you were. So for me, I would say, I was in traditional business, I was working in a gym, I was working 90 hours a week. The reason I got into business was to try and uh, escape the rat race of being an employee but what I found was, you know, I really was just working longer hours and I was still on that treadmill. So I needed to go and find a, an audition, a different type of business model. Okay, so that's where I was. Where I wanted to be, okay, was traveling around the world, was spending time at home with my family, was sitting on the beach with residual income coming in was being passionate about what I was doing, was sleeping in for the first time in 10 years instead of getting up 5 o'clock in the morning. That's where I wanted to be. Okay, what I saw was the network marketing industry was booming. It wasn't what I thought it was. With technology, rising up, uh, class of Asia, the baby boomers, Gen X, Gen Y. Okay, with the economy the way it is, network marketing is going crazy Technology, we're on the webinar tonight with over 150 people and that absolutely amazed me. I saw people making crazy amounts of money in one year, two years, three years. I'd never seen that before. They always used to talk about the 20, 30, 40-year plan in network marketing. Okay, that's what I saw and then what I found was Jeunesse. 
that's what I found, an amazing company. We went looking for the perfect company. These are the things that we were looking for. My experience so far is everything I dreamed it would be. So my experience was replacing my income within nine months, selling my business, going full-time in 12, become a diamond in three years. It's been life-changing. I am now living the lifestyle of my dream, working from home, traveling the world. My vision for the future is to move up to Noosa in this house here. Look, I've got it on my phone. Check out, this is where I'm going to live. I guarantee you I'll be there in the next 12 months. I want to bring as many people along for the ride as I can because it really sucks trying to play tennis by yourself and it's really hard water skiing by yourself. I need some friends to come along with me. Are you on board? Right? So people will join you for your vision. And remember how important this is because from day one, just like I was, you're earning zero dollars. You're zero testimonials. So what if you, why, why would people ever join you? You know why? Because of your passion, because of your vision, because of your story, because of where you're going with so much confidence and excitement. They can't even remember what the products were. They can't even say the word Jeunesse. They just say, yeah, I'm joining because I don't even know what I'm joining. You're just so excited. If that's where you're going, maybe you'll get there, maybe you won't, but I can't risk it. I'm there with you, buddy. Let's join up. And then they'll work the rest out later. So get your story down packed. No one knows your story better than you. Everyone's got a story. Break it down into a, an elevator pitch, 30-second version, a two-minute version, and then as long a version as you like. Where you were, where you wanted to be, what you saw, what you found, your experience so far, and your vision for the future. That's why people will join. That's why people will join on day one of your business, and that's why people still join me in my business today, more than any other reason. Okay, include your story when you're talking to people about it, which you've just created. Talk about the products, the company, the opportunity, the industry, the systems, the team. Okay, the conversation with people will kind of be led by them. Whatever they want to talk about most is what you can cover. But that's why it's important to have knowledge and all of those things. Have it down packed, have it written down and practice it. So when it comes time to talking about it, you can just reel it off, look like a leader, look like you know what you're talking about. Again, that is you getting better at sharing the information, right? And then they'll join with you. You're not selling, you're not convincing, sharing the information really well. Okay, I'm in. Okay, it's not even what you say, it's how you say it. Handling objections, understand people that they will happen, I guarantee you. Now, if you want them to happen less and less and less, here's a couple of tips for you. Whatever you say to someone, remember that last point, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So if you say something with so much confidence and passion and excitement and conviction, people won't even question you. So they were just about to say, that won't work, that's a scam. But because you said it with so much confidence, looking them in the eye, they're going, you know what, this guy is so convinced and so confident that it'll work that I'm not even going to ask that question, I'm just going to join. So number one, it's how you come across your posture, how you say it. Number two, it's who you're talking to. So if you're always talking to broke people, negative people, cynical people, skeptical people, okay, then they're going to try and come up with objections all the time just because that's who they are and that's what they do. Okay, and then the other reason people might ask objections, number three, is just to test you out. So they kind of know the answer to it. They kind of already decided they're joining. They're just going to come up with all these different, they're devil's advocate if you like. Okay, now if you don't know how to answer the objections or you get intimidated or you're not sure, no confidence, then they're going to go, well, I was really just testing him. He doesn't know the answers. I was uh, looking for a leader to join with and this isn't John. Okay, so sometimes they're just testing you. But don't ever, 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 ever let somebody not join the business, okay, because of an objection. There's an answer to every single one of them. If someone's just not the right person or it's not the right time in their life, that's okay. Not everyone's going to enroll straight away. This business is for anybody. Anybody can do it, but it's not for everybody. Just like a personal trainer is not, a nurse is not, a doctor is not, a policeman is not. All right, and that's okay. But if they're saying, I don't have time, I don't have money, this won't work, that's no reason for them to not join. I never let anybody get away with that. And the best way to overcome an objection is to tell stories. 
Okay, I don't have time for that. Well, you know what? That I totally understand where you're coming from, John, uh, because when I started, I felt the same way. I was working 90 hours a week in the two gyms that I owned in Sydney. I just had no time. But you know what I found? There's always a way if you really want something. Everyone's got the same 24 hours in a day, and I was so hungry and determined to make a success of myself and get out of what I was doing and live that lifestyle that I ended up working my business 9 p.m. till midnight. So we can all find time. It's whatever your priorities are. Now, are you working 90 hours a week, John? Uh, not really. Okay, well, let me show you some other things that you can value, Janice, and make it a priority. So look, there's always a story, and that's why it's so important to create your story, but also know as many other people's stories in Janice or in network marketing or in business full stop, okay, as you can. And then answer every single objection with the story. One of the real famous stories is, oh, love to join, I just don't have the money right now. Okay, let me tell you a story of this guy, you know, he's 18 years and he said the same thing that you just said, I don't have the money. But his mentor said, okay, I've got a $300,000 Ferrari parked outside, it's $260 to get started. If I said that Ferrari is yours for $260 but you've got to pay me in the next hour, could you find that money? And the young guy said, hell yes, I'll go and get it for you right now, I'll borrow it off my mum. That's the point. Okay, we're here to show you how to change your life. So you can adapt all these principles into any business in the future. We're here to show you how to build a residual income for life over the next three, four, five, six years. So it's a lot better than just making a once-off profit off that Ferrari. Okay, it's a mindset. You just showed me you could get it within an hour. It's about valuing this business. And so you either need to get better at showing them why they need to value this business, okay, or you need to... Uh, keep showing them different points uh, to get them over the line because money is never an excuse for someone that really wants it and neither is time. Number 12, industry knowledge and personal growth. Again, like my accountability partner, I don't think I would still be in network marketing today, let alone successful at it, if I hadn't have read these books and listened to these audios, specifically the middle one there, your first year in network marketing. Mark Yarnell, fantastic book. I would call it close to the Bible of the network marketing industry. Reading that book just really sums it up, shows you what to expect, puts it in perspective. It's like you're a personal mentor in a book or an audio. So again, just like suggesting to know the pay plan, no, you want to do an exam on it and learn it back to front. Same with this. It's not just enough to know they're there. Get off this webinar if you haven't listened or read some of these. And look, there's thousands of different ones you can look and read. Go and look at them all. But here's just some suggestions. And these ones, you know, I'll, I would pretty much make sure you read and listen to all of them. The great thing about this step, it doesn't take up anyone's time. So download the audio to your phone when you're working out or driving in the car. Listen to the audio then. Okay, it doesn't take up any extra time if you're doing those things. Seven secrets to seven figures, mattmorris.com. Put your name and email in, he'll email you that MP3 for free. That is a fantastic audio of Matt's story and the seven steps that will really help you. Four-year career is a great one for understanding the industry, as is brilliant compensation. Magnetic sponsoring sort of shows you that attraction marketing. Your first year in network marketing, success in 10 steps, very simple, great steps. It is basic stuff to be successful in the industry. Think and Grow Rich, an amazing book that everyone should just read uh, for success in life. It's not a network marketing book, but you can apply every principle. GoPro is quite a new one by Eric Warre. All his stuff is great. So again, if you want to be a diamond engine ass, these are not suggestions. Go and get them. They're either free or very cheap. Take none of your time. There are no excuses if you're serious. Number 13, plan and attend live events. So very simple. You know, basically straight after the 48-hour assignment, I would say, right, when's the next live event coming up in John's area? All right, it's next Monday. Ring John up next day. John, make sure this is in your diary prioritize it, get a babysitter, we're going to go to the pub, you know, next Monday night there's a, an opportunity event I'm presenting at, you've got to be there and meet the uplines, the diamonds, you've got to learn, you've got to be motivated, you've got to get that belief up, um, you've got to learn other people's stories, the information and try and bring 
you know, 10 people because it's a number one way that people will join your business. It's a number one way where the light bulb will go off and people decide not to just to be a participant in the business but to really get in there and build it. Okay, and this is where, you know, the live events for your launch and that can come into play as well. As you start building the business and going on and on and on, live events will really become the cornerstone of you building the business. You want to make sure the leaders are getting along and everything else we do offline, the webinars and, and everything, new age, social media, that's awesome. But you've got to glue it together with that face-to-face -face meeting, couple of beers afterwards, couple of coffees, whatever it may be, and really cement those relationships because at the end of the day, that's why people will stay in the business with you long term. Provide great service. I think that goes without saying. Number 14, any business, you should be great at customer service. If you've got prospects that you're calling, they're busy, they say, call me back Tuesday, make sure you call them back Tuesday. Show them you're serious about the business. You're going to do what you say you're going to do. They'll respect that. Okay, customers, how's that serum going? Do you want some new product? We've got an instantly ageless product. Dis distributors, that's where you want to be providing great service because that's where your business is at and the leaders within your group, you want to bend over backwards and, and travel to the end of the world to help your leaders to become successful. Provide great service. And number 15 at the end, become a leader. So, you know, your business will rise and fall on your leadership long term, okay? The best way to lead is by doing. So if you're enrolling, your team will be enrolling, okay? If you're just telling them to enroll but you're not enrolling, you, they won't be enrolling, I guarantee you. You can do all the training with them in the world and come up with all these systems and, and tell them to enroll. It's just one of those universal, unconscious things they know you're not enrolling so they don't either so a real simple way to be a leader is to lead from the front uh, get to presentations live events sit up the front take notes help set up help pack up put your hand up to do introductions testimonials but the best way is by doing and by gaining knowledge so all the things that we've spoken about here if you master these getting started tips and uh, you're an expert on the pay plan, the products, the industry, people will really start looking up to you as a leader. And again, in that seven steps, Matt Morris will tell you about when he started out as a young kid, all he did was get on a webinar the night before or read a network marketing book and drop down 10 things that he learnt from that webinar or that audio or that book. And the next day on his training, on the phone call, he would train people on those exact 10 steps. So he wasn't anything special, didn't know anything special, hadn't got great runs on the board. He just put his hand up, learnt something the night before, regurgitated it the night after, and everyone in the company looked up to him as an absolute guru. They put him on as a corporate trainer on the company. His business went through the roof, and so did his knowledge, and so did his skills, because he just kept on doing those things. So he's elevated himself from...